welcome back to another candle review. I'm a little nervous doing this one after how the other Avon ones have gone so far for the most part, but this one is a genuinely different one, so I'm very hopeful that maybe I will have a better experience with this. I've had one that wasn't terrible, so I'm hopeful that this will be like that one was, and this one is Calming Waters. Now, nowhere on the box does it say what Calming Waters means. We just have a vague picture of a water lily, and that is going to be my guess of what this scent is supposed to be, honestly. Uh, it doesn't say on the box, it doesn't say on the candle, it is no long longer on the website, and of the few places I see them listed online on Amazon and on eBay, nobody knows the scent notes of this one, so it's kind of vague and nondescript, I will admit. It's sort of like in between floral, but also beachy, because there's kind of like a salt water kind of note in there. At least like what Avon interprets as salt water, because I know they had that one scent just called Sea for the longest time in the 90s and early 2000s that for a long time was honestly my favorite thing that they sold. Um, then I burnt out on it, but um, this smells similar to that, but also with like water lily. So, salt water and water lily, that, that's my analysis of what it smells like. But anyway, it is a three wick candle, it is unfortunately way off centered as we can tell. I mean, this way doesn't look like it. You put it that way though, it suddenly becomes very obvious how off center it is. Just saying. But um, we'll see how it does, there are pretty puny looking wicks, just saying. <laughs> um, Let's see here. The size on this, where is it listed? Is it on the candle itself? It's 11 ounces, so it's a little bit less than a Bath and Body Works 3 wick candle, because theirs are 14, this is 11. And it's only a few dollars less. This was like 20 bucks. Actually, when I got it, I think it was 22, but now they've come down to 20 bucks a piece for the 3 wick candles. Um, Whereas Bath and Body Works is like twenty four fifty, and theirs were actually better, and you get more in them. Approximate burn time is thirty hours on these versus the twenty five to forty on the Bath and Body Works. Um, the label on this one already is trying to peel up on this side. I've pushed it back down a few times, but it keeps wanting to curl up right here, like you can see it. So I keep smoothing it back down. But I have a feeling this is going to come off long before I use this up and repurpose it, so. Sad, because I like the picture on this one a lot, but I can just, I can tell. It's not going to stay on. So I don't know what type of wax is in this, sadly. Also not listed on the box, nor on the candle, nor on any of the listings. So, <laughs> that doesn't help me much. I don't know if it's a soy blend, I don't know if it's beeswax, I don't know if it's something else. It does not say. All it says is that it's made by the Chesapeake Bay Candle Company. Distributed by Pacific Trade International. But you can go to ChesapeakeBayCandle.com. I should probably do that, see if I can find more info on them. But anywho. <laughs> um, yes, that. I'm going to go ahead and light this puppy up. I am excited to see what it smells like burning and how strong it is and all that. Because this one is a really nice scent. I think so far of any Avon candles that I've gotten, I think I like this scent the best. But I'm also very much partial to Lily scents. So it just, yeah. I knew going into it this would be my favorite one that I own from them. But... Anywho, gonna go ahead and light it up, and we shall see how she does. Okay, so a note to self, it is right before 7 p.m. that I lit this, uh, just so I can reference back how long it's been burning, mostly to myself. But, um, rookie mistake, I definitely forgot to trim down the wicks, and initially they burned down real fast and looked like they were going to extinguish themselves. So I wasn't too impressed with that. Now we've got some curly wicks going on, but they seem to be burning better than they were when it was very first lit. I mean, you can see the height of the flames. I mean, they're not great, but I mean, they are burning. They are starting to pool a little. 
Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it, see how it does, see if it needs any help with a tin foil or anything. We shall see, or if it's going to be a cotton ball or one. I would not be surprised if this becomes a cotton ball candle. It seems a lot of the Avon ones are, but this one... I don't know, I really don't have a lot of faith in this one pooling out on its own with how short those flames are, but we'll see. We'll see. So four hours later, which is longer than you're supposed to burn this one for, um, yeah, it did not quite make it out to the edges. It got closer than I thought it would, but it didn't quite do the thing, so I think I am going to tinfoil it just to get it to pool out to those edges and then I'm gonna blow the sucker out. So, just thought I'd let you know. Round two with this candle the next morning, I tinfoiled it basically from the get-go and approximately got to exactly the same place I did last night with it. I'm willing to give it one more shot before trying to cotton ball it and see if I can get any better results with those sides from that. Because this, this is not magical. This is not great. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so fast forward a bit. Round six. And I have cotton balled it three frigging times. Look how much product I've lost. And it's still, still not on this side. Most of this, I mean... You've still got some crap on the side, but oh my god, if it doesn't do it this time, I'm leaving it be. I am not taking out more product still to cotton ball this further. I'm mad that I had to cotton ball onion because I really love the scent of this one, and I just lost probably half the damn candle having to cotton ball it out. That is not right. Avon, get your shit together. So I'm back. Different day. Good lord, do I have some thoughts about this damn candle. Oh yeah, yeah, you see correctly. You see how far down it is. Oh yes. Oh yes. So, this not only became a cotton ball candle and a tinfoil candle, it was a multiple repeat cotton ball candle, and it still didn't get it off the sides. No amount of tin foiling did. I took a hair dryer to it. I took a heat gun to it. It's still there. I have never had one have this bad of an issue with that. Ever. Out of all the candles I have owned. Only one. And this makes me real fucking sad that knowing so much of the product went out on cotton balls because it kept extinguishing itself and it wouldn't pull out to the sides and just to get it to a level where it could even do that, I've lost like half the goddamn candle! This wasn't cheap! This was a $20 fucking candle! And I'm more sad! It smells really good, unlike the shitty ones where I didn't care! This one, I wanted to be able to be able to use every last bit of it. Still smells really good, which makes me more upset. <laughs> Honestly, it makes me more upset. Although it did start to pick up that kerosene-y kind of smell in addition to the nice water lily scent, but I'm just mad. I'm really mad. It doesn't even come close to going out to the edges no matter what you do, even after cotton balling it so it has more burn space on the wicks. No, no. Doesn't help. Does not help one fucking iota. Does not help no matter how much tin foiling you do, no matter how much you cotton ball. Doesn't matter. It just does not want to do the thing. I barely, barely got it to go out to the edges. But the sides. We still have this situation with the damn sides. And I don't know what to do about it because, like I said, I tried both a heat gun and a blow dryer on it. And I still could not fix it. I don't know what to do. Because I do want to upcycle this jar when it's done. And that is going to be a bitch to clean if I can't get that to melt. I don't really want to torch the glass by literally holding a lighter against it. But if I have to, desperate times call for desperate measures. But I'm very just upset and disappointed with this candle. And on top of that... As if I didn't have enough things to bitch about right there. There's almost no throw on it. At all. Unless you're tinfoiling the ever-loving shit out of it and have let it go for hours while tinfoiled. Which is not safe. 
by the way, would not recommend you do that unless you absolutely know what you're doing and you're monitoring the crap out of it and are right there and can do something should something go wrong. Yeah, that. So, I just... <clears throat> and even then, it's not like a super strong throw even at that point. But if you don't do all that, it has like no throw at all. I left the room, I can't- I did nothing. Nothing. And even after the tinfoiling, and trying to boost it that way, it just dropped off into basically nothing very quickly after it was extinguished. So, I don't know. This just- I'm so disappointed! I am so disappointed on, like, every goddamn level. The only way I would be more upset is if it also smelled badly on top of everything else. The only reason I am going to give it a 2 out of 5 instead of a 1 out of 5 is because I so enjoy the way this smells regardless. But all the other issues make me want to give it a 1 so badly. I mean, actually, I amend my statement. I will give it a 1.5 because I like the scent so much. Not a 2. It, this is not too worthy. I'm sorry. It's not. I wanted to like this so badly. I really did. I really, really, really wanted to love this. I wanted this to be the Avon candle that makes me go, Oh, not all of them suck! But so far, the record still stands that they all suck and I am really, really not motivated to buy any more after the experiences that I have had thus far with the ones that I have gotten. I see that their packaging has changed. I have to wonder if they've improved anything with time, but at the same time, do I really want to fucking blow 20 more dollars to find out and probably be pissed off all over again and then just feel stupid? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but this one, I'm very upset, as I think you guys can tell. So, that wraps up this one. Would I recommend it? Hell to the no, there's only one currently on Amazon and, like, two on eBay. So, if you really, really must, they're out there, but would I recommend them? Hell to the no. So, unless you are only buying it for the sake of smelling it and just to look at it. Or if you're gonna try and put it on, like, a candle warmer or, like, a wax warmer or something, maybe then. But... As its intended purpose, it's crap. I'm sorry. It is. I went there. I said it. It's crap. So, anyways. <sighs> Getting off of my soapbox now. <laughs> that is it for this one. So, if you liked this video and found it useful in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and give it a like. <laughs> if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Did you guys have this one? I doubt it. Nobody really buys the Avon ones, and for good reason. But if you did, let me know what your experience with this one was in the comments, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you would like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.